Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave 9 video. Now at the time of me recording this video, I'm not sure if I will be able to upload this video within this week. So apologies in advance. So if you guys are not aware of what's happening, so basically my internet has been down for the last two days and today actually there's a technician that came over and still he couldn't fix it. He told me that most likely I will need to re-pull the fiber optic cable again and that is going to take a bit of processing and stuff etc and right now as of me posting this it's actually friday and usually on weekends contractors don't really work that's how it is in my country so most likely i won't have internet for the next three to four days all right so as of me recording right now i am not sure how am i going to upload this video i might go to a mcdonald's or a starbucks later on to try to use their wi-fi hopefully it's fast enough for me to be able to upload a video or i can actually ask uh, if i could actually go to my friend's house and use his wi-fi for a little bit okay so let's jump into the video all right today we're going to talk about sarah and i'm sure most of you guys know she is the latest addition to the most recent unit of all the five stars and we're going to talk about alch and seras in a separate video because i just want to focus on Sarah. she is a five star and she is the more expensive unit compared to the other two and i'm sure most of you guys will want to know if she's going to be worth the investment or not being a more expensive unit so make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification so you guys will get notified whenever i release the video of Ceres and Arch, but let's talk about Sarah in this video. Alright, first things first, I think Sarah changes the perspective of how we view a lot of units and she is probably going to be the staple for a little while. Now what do I mean by that is she has a very strong ability and for the first time ever, this ability does not fall under the guard category. So it's something that's really different and direct damage will not be able to counter this. So knowing that moving forward, what are Sears abilities? So let's jump into it and talk about it first. As per usual, so most of her skills and her kits are still pretty similar. If you look at her skill, the first main skill, right? She has this stigma which will be applied to the enemy and of course, uh, if it expires or is removed, all right? So this will deal insane amount of HP that apparently ignores barrier all right so that means it ignores the incoming damage reduction part of things it doesn't go through 100 defense so that's not to be confused with that okay so if sayer dies the damage dealt is increased by double the amount and you can see right here we have enhancement nullifier right here and of course stats boost for defense when enemy dies so this defense stat boost can be good to have can be strong to have but ideally i wouldn't look at this as a skill that you want to keep or ruin your share accordingly so we're going to discuss about that shortly all right so the most important change for her would be from plus 11 to plus 12 because that's gonna allow her to basically remove the restriction all right for only defenders or magicians to all allies so if you're not aware of what this skill does all right this skill allows sales damage that is inflicted onto her will be divided by the number of allies alive so at plus 11 and below, it will only count the defenders and magicians that are alive. So this means that you have to use a lot of defenders and magicians for this to be efficient. But going on into plus 12 and above, this will calculate every single ally you have on the battlefield. Which makes this a very very strong skill moving forward because this will reduce the damage inflicted onto Seer by at least 9 if you have her moving first and if you have 9 allies still alive on the battlefield now i haven't done the testing yet i have i'm not aware if that includes sarah herself or will it only include the other eight not including sarah so that means it will be divided by eight as opposed to nine right so going on into plus 13 you can see right now it increases the damage for the barrier ignoring additional damage from 100 percent 200 percent and goes up to 125 to 250 and going on to plus 15 it increases this skill that she has 224 turns which is pretty crazy now the question is do i think ser is strong at plus 12 absolutely all right so even at plus 12 she can definitely turn tables she can definitely change the tide of battle and might be able to be the solo carry for you to withstand a bunch of damage all right and moving on into the third skill of course she has a permanent debuff immunity 
which is very good. And this time it's before battle, if I'm not mistaken, she has something similar but it only activates during battle or something like that. So this will also decrease incoming damage by 50%. And her taunt lasts for 4 turns. Alright, so one thing to note is that this particular skill, I'm glad to see the opposite effect of Graves coming back into action. Alright, so we have a lot of units that is very dependent on Graves. And that includes Velfern, that includes Vals, that includes Laraposa. Now, the amount of Graves on the battlefield are going to increase their damage proportionally. Now, Sayr takes the opposite effect where the more allies are alive, the less damage she receives. So, that's gonna make her a very efficient defender to go first and having that taunt, so she will be able to negate a ton of damage. Now how strong is this skill exactly? And why is this considerably broken? Alright, so the reason, the main reason why this skill is broken is because this does not fall under the guard category, it falls under a different category called bestowal. So this will increase the efficiency of using Sayr, and she counters all the direct damage dealers in the game as of the time of me posting this, alright, which is insane. So right now in the game we have Alec, we have Vals, we have Livia. And I'm gonna show you guys the footage right here, Sayr, plus 15, max rank boosted at 17.6k HP, was able to withstand a full direct hit from a Livia plus 15, alright. So now if you guys are not aware, Livia plus 15 has the strongest direct damage in the game. Alright, her numbers are way higher compared to everyone else, especially with the multiplier of 450% additional damage. Now, Vals might be able to deal more if she can have sufficient number of graves on the battlefield, but if you're talking about early on and without buffs, Livia's damage is most of the time going to be higher. And you can see in this footage right here that Sayr was able to take the full blast of direct hit from Livia. And I have a couple of other footage where Sayr can just withstand damage from Alec, withstand damage from my Vals. Now I'm, I'm actually glad that Sayr wasn't as bad as I anticipated. Looking at her damage, she can definitely withstand sufficient hits from a well buffed Vals and Alec early on. So that's something that we gotta consider moving forward because now we have a new type of skill, bestowal skill, that perhaps counters what the Octos have. And if you are slightly on the newer side, you are still considering to invest in either Alec or Vals. Now that there's at least one counter on the battlefield, you might have to be more wary moving forward because there could be potentially more defenders in the future that's gonna have a similar unique bestowal skill that can negate direct hits. Now to be honest, I was not expecting her to actually have this power level. I was expecting her to be somewhere in the Arkhan's power level range, but at this point, Sayr might actually be the best defender they have released in a while. And definitely I would encourage as many players to pull for her as possible because I doubt that there will be many defenders that can dethrone her from her current ranking as the top 5 star defender in the long run. Alright, so with that being said, that's it for the video guys, hope you enjoyed it, again apologies in advance because internet is down so I couldn't live stream, so I will still try my best to post as many videos as I can, and hopefully I'll be pulling Sarah in the next video, so if I record that, all the footage that you guys are seeing right now are recorded from my phone, so if there's any like lag in audio or visual quality, again I apologize in advance, hopefully this internet issue will be resolved soon. And yes, make sure you guys take care, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, goodbye. We're still gonna continue the diamond, alright? At this point, most likely we're gonna go PT. All the way in, PT. It's just 3 star all the way, come on. Yes, okay, this is it, good. That was a good pull. Oh my god, two in a row? Wow, okay. Now that is insane.